Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel pump and the air compressor seals. We are going to be replacing the seals because these are leaking a lot of oil from the air compressor and the fuel pump and it's messing all over the place as you can see. First thing we want to do is remove this plate over here. It's uh, under the pillow housing. We want to remove these bolts. Now we want to look for the timing, timing mark to uh, set the timing to remove the fuel pump. So the timing mark is set. It's very hard to see it, but it's right here. It's right here. It's very hard to focus. So you have to set the timing mark like that. And now we can remove the fuel pump. Now we're gonna drain the coolant. Okay, now we're gonna remove the fuel filter housing. So we're gonna remove all these fuel lines and these other fuel lines in here on top to remove the fuel lines in here. Sensor here and there is another sensor underneath here and a coolant line then goes over there too to the compressor. And this coolant line then is here. We're gonna remove it and then we're gonna remove four bolts. There is one, uh, there is another one right there and there is two in here which is very hard to see them. We're gonna see them after we remove the whole line. Uh, the fuel filter housing is out. Uh, this is the coolant lines. We have to remove this one. And here is another one. And all the other lines here. Remember to disconnect this sensor that is on the knee. So now we can see the fuel pump. The fuel pump is right here. We're gonna remove the harness. Disconnect the harness from the fuel pump. We're gonna disconnect all the attachments of the harness and then we're gonna remove this plate, these three bolts, one, two, and three. Uh, the it three right here, there's one, two, three, and the other one too, there is one, two, three bolts. We're gonna remove them uh, to make room to remove the fuel pump. And then we're gonna remove the high pressure lines here, these two two lines we're gonna remove them to have the fuel pump ready to okay, uh, now we're gonna remove this coolant line then goes to the compressor to the block and we're gonna remove this plate right here then holds the rear area of the fuel pump and then we're gonna proceed to remove the fuel pump okay to remove the fuel pump we have to remove these bolts right here there is one and there is another one right there and there is two inside there. There is one and there is another one. So those four bolts are the ones that hold the fuel pump in place. So we're gonna remove those and then we're gonna pull the fuel pump out. Okay, the fuel pump is out. As you can see the bolt right here. Uh, this is the seal we're going to replace on the fuel pump. Uh, and uh, once the fuel pump is out, just check it out. I highly recommend to replace the fuel pump if you put it, but in this case it's just leaking oil, we just want to replace the seal. Okay, uh, we're going to remove the air compressor now because we want to replace the seal as well. Uh, we're going to pull this hose out, it's very easy, just pull it. And then we're going to remove this one here. This is the pressure line with a one inch grinch and uh, we're gonna remove the air this line it's a quick connect very easy to remove and the power steering pump it has two two bolts only there is one bolt right here and there is another bolt right there uh, just to remove these bolts and pull it okay the power steering pump is out now we can remove the air compressor. To remove the air compressor, we need to remove these two bolts first. Uh, and then we're gonna remove the other two bolts on top. Okay, now we're gonna remove the two uh, bolts on top of the air compressor. There is one right there, it's very hard to see it, and there is another one right there. Uh, yeah, it is very hard to see it, but it's right there as you can see it. It's all covered with oil. Okay, we can see the air compressor. Uh, this seal is completely bad, but this is the seal that has the oil pressure. And the other seal around here is not even here. The seal is stuck, 
to the block it's right there so uh, the seal is completely dry that's the reason why it's leaking a lot of um, oil so now we're gonna clean all that area a little bit uh, to reinstall the seals we're gonna clean a little bit to the air compressor and the fuel pump to remove all this dirt around just a little bit not that much uh, to install the new seals okay i have all the parts i need the two plates for the fuel pump the low and the high pressure the air compressor o-ring and this one too is air compressor o-ring this is the pressure side uh, o-ring the fuel pump o-ring this is for the fuel filter housing for the coolant the power steering pump gasket and the coolant lines there is one left the long one so there you need three coolant lines Okay, the area is clean, a little bit clean, it's not that clean, but all the oil is removed. Uh, now we're gonna install the air compressor. Okay, the air compressor is clean too, and the fuel pump is clean. Uh, we have the new seal on place, and the pressure o-ring here too, it's on place. Now we're gonna prepare the bolts to install the compressor. Okay, the compressor is on place, it's completely secure, make sure to torque the bolts to specifications. Uh, now we're gonna uh, install the, uh, the power steering pump and the rest of the components we remove to remove the air compressor. Okay, the air compressor is on place, everything is secure. Now we're gonna install the fuel pump. Okay, now we're gonna make everything ready to install it. We're gonna make the bolts. We're gonna apply some silicone around so uh, we prevent any unwanted uh, leaks. Okay, the fuel pump is on place. Uh, always torque the uh, bolts to specifications. Uh, and now uh, we're just gonna install all the rest of the components, the fuel lines, and the other components around the fuel pump. Okay, the fuel pump is on place, as you can see. Uh, everything is tight and secure or oh, the compressor line is on place the harness is on place the plate tire is on place all the rear hoses the compressor hoses and everything is on place and secure uh, now we can proceed to install the fuel filter housing this is the only seal we're going to replace for the full uh, fuel filter housing there is no other seal uh, and the other hose right here and the and this hose right here okay the fuel filter housing is on place uh, the next step will be to install all the fuel lines the low pressure the high pressure and the return lines and uh, we're gonna install the in and out lines and uh, make sure to reconnect all the sensors and to reconnect the hoses this one of the hoses, the one that goes to the compressor, to the fuel filter housing, and the one that comes from the oil filter thing is this one right here. So uh, then after that, uh, we're going to replace the fuel filters. Okay, everything is back in place. Uh, the fuel system is already filled, and uh, the fuel filters are new too. Now we are going to uh, fill the coolant system. Okay, the coolant system is full. We just gonna double check everything to see everything is on place. And now we wanna start the engine. Okay, the engine is running. Now we're gonna go outside and inspect for leaks. Check all the area to see all leaks, fuel leaks and coolant leaks. And if there is no leaks, let the engine room into the step one. Okay, so this is all I wanted to show you about the fuel pump and the air compressor seal replacements. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.